If you are a frequent Flower Stick user, you probably know about the Loader app. You can use it to get some amazing applications from the internet, which are not available in the official Amazon App Store by default. But to get those apps downloaded, you need to know the codes which to use in the Downloader app. So today I'll show you my favorite codes which I use to get the best applications to my Fire TV Stick device. First of all, of course, you need to install the Downloader to your Fire Stick if you don't already have it. In that case, just go to search on your device and start typing the Downloader in the search bar. As you can see, it already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. We click on the Downloader and that's the app which we need to get to our device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. And to set up the loader, we'll go to settings. So here they are. Then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. In here, we'll have to enable developer options for our device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, Select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times. And do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the button for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow us to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only from official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now let's go to the list of apps on our device. Here it is. And there's the Downloader app, which we got to our Fire Stick. However, before actually using the Downloader, there's one more thing which I always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, they got a great application for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may have, and you can connect all of your devices at the same time with just one account, which is amazing. In the VPN app, you just select any location, let's say I will select Canada right now, and from the moment we connect, all of our traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track us or snoop on us online. And that's extremely important if we wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in the pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your laptop, open up a web browser and type topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to send you to the best NordVPN offer, which is currently available. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now, with the camera of your phone. It's going to do the same thing. And now let's finally use Downloader safely. So we open up Downloader application. On the left side menu, make sure to select Home, that's important. And then here in that search bar, we'll be entering codes. The first code is going to be 545 to 93. It's a code for Aptoy TV, which is an alternative app store which you can use on your Fire Stick to download some of the applications which are not available in the official Amazon App Store. So you enter the code, once again it's 545293, click on Go, and now the download has already started for us. We need to click on Install right here, and after Aptoy TV was installed to our Fire Stick, do not click on Open yet, instead press on Done because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file, as we don't need any more. So click on delete, and then delete once again. This way we have erased unnecessary files from your device. Now let's go to settings once again, go to My Fire TV, to developer options, install unknown apps, and turn that option on for Aptoy TV. It is a must if you want to use it to download other applications from the internet. Now let's take a look at the list of apps on your device. Scroll down, and here is the Aptoy TV which we just installed. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button of three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. This way Aptoy TV is always going to be at the very top of your application list, and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Now let's finally open the application, click OK here. Then you have to allow the access, because otherwise you won't be able to download applications. So click on Allow. And here in that alternative app store, still find loads of apps for your Fire Sticks, 
which cannot be downloaded officially from the usual Amazon App Store. And they even have games in here. By the way, a really convenient way to use this app is go to the categories. And here you can take a look at all the available categories of different applications in WebToy TV. So if you are interested in health and fitness, you would pick that category. If sports, then you pick this one, productivity, education, finance, and so on. And each category will have plenty of apps, which you can download to your Fire TV. So I believe Aptoi TV is going to be really useful for you. And now let me show you some more downloader codes. So we got to go back to downloader application. Here it is. Click on home once again, erase this code, click on clear. And the second code of today is going to be five, four, nine, six, two, eight. This code is for TV Mate Player, which is an amazing live TV player for pretty much any IPTV provider. It's extremely easy to use and it works quite stable. So we enter the code, hit the go button. And here, if this page doesn't work properly for you, as it does not for me, and I cannot scroll down, then just click on the options button on your remote. That's the button of three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on disable JavaScript and reload page. And that message now has disappeared. Now just locate the TVMate app on this page and click on the download button. And now the download should start for us. Click on install. And now once again, as I told you previously, do not click open yet. Instead, press on done because as previously, we'll be able to delete the installation files. And now let's go to the list of apps on our device. And here's the TVMate app, which we just installed. Let's open the app and take a look at it. It's extremely easy to use. You just need to click on the Add Playlist button. And here you would select either to use the M3U playlist. You would click on it, just enter the link to your playlist and it should work for you. Or if your live TV provider is using extreme codes, then you would select that option, enter your link here, then username, password, and pretty much that's it. The live TV is going to work for you. So that was our second code of today. And now let's go back to the loader. Our next code is going to be 21254. It's for APK Time, which is also an alternative app store similar to Aptoid TV, though it has some unique applications. Now we just need to click on that link or click on the settings once again to turn on the JavaScript, which we previously disabled. And now in a couple of seconds, we will be redirected. Then we click on that green download button right here and the download has started for us. Click on install done, delete, delete. And now let's take a look at the app, which we installed. So go to the list of apps and here's the APK time, which we just installed to our device. And here you'll find a lot of categories, which have plenty of apps inside. I cannot show you the exact applications which are available because of YouTube rules, but trust me, there will be quite a lot of different applications. And I'm pretty sure APK time is going to be really useful for you. And now let's go back to the loader so I could show you one more code. The code is going to be 4, 8, 3, 9, 2, and 7. This code is for Kodi, which is an essential app for streaming for a lot of people. So let's click on go and the download has started. It might take quite a bit if you have slow internet. As always, we make sure to delete the unnecessary installation files. And now when you go back to the list of apps on our device, you'll find Kodi app, which is a really decent app for streaming. So today I showed you my favorite codes for downloader, which will help you to download Kodi, APK Time, TVMate, and of course, Aptoid TV application to your Fire Stick. Hope the video was helpful. And of course, don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe when downloading something from the internet. Once again, you can get three months totally for free if you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or just go to topvpnoffer.com.